It's currently 10.55 a.m. I just woke up a little bit ago. I passed out and then I woke up and then I played a video game until like 4 or 5 a.m. with AJ and Garen. I don't know, it's a really fun game, but it takes a lot of time. And I'm so mad because I missed the raid this morning that was supposed to go on from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. It's basically a game where you need to be home 24 seven in order to play it. <laughs> Which is kind of what's going on right now. I missed the raid, I'm super upset. I slept through all my alarms, of course. Classic KG. I feel like crap, because I stayed up so late. This is why we stay in the morning routine. It really does help. I'm trying to find a way to forgive myself for staying up so late and waking up so late this morning, but I'm having a really hard time doing it. Uh, one thing I'm trying to constantly do is practice self-forgiveness. I'm being really hard on myself about it. What you don't see is that part of my coaching homework, I actually rate my days from one to 10. And I've been doing that since December. Every single day I give it a one through 10 value. And I talk about what happened in the day and then three emotions that I felt during the day. I still haven't done yesterday's because I stayed up so late. So that's contributing to this guilt slash shame feel that I'm feeling right now. I messed up my morning and evening routine one day and I feel like everything is just spinning out of control right now. That's how important these morning and evening routines are to me. I'm outside right now. I'm just doing a little short laps around my house because outside has become my happy place. It feels like keeps me grounded. My mom just gave me some really good advice and that was sometimes even though we know better, we still do what we know is best for us. And sometimes it happens and it's okay. What we can do is try to do better next time. I am really worried about my mom in the hospital right now, but I can't really get the specifics, I don't think. But she's feeling very overwhelmed right now. And apparently next week is just supposed to get worse. I got a really alarming text message last night from her. And then I just spoke with her on the phone right now. They're going through hell. My store leader said something awesome. Uh, she had listened to a podcast or something. I don't know, I just connected with her a little bit ago. But she said like, all we're seeing is empty roads. All we're seeing is that, but the healthcare workers are seeing something totally different. They're seeing crazy things. And it's true. I'm getting a first hand account from my mom. Just keep them in your mind. I totally left you guys out of the loop on the clown and withdrawal. I'm doing great now. I'm not really having any more side effects of it. It was a rough time, but we got through it. That's all you can do, just get through it. I know it's such an insignificant thing, but this thing is really just weighing on me. The guilt and the shame from staying up so late and waking up so late such an insignificant problem right now and what's going on in this world right now. This world is insane. This is unprecedented. It's unlike anything we've ever seen before. And here I am beating myself up over waking up late. I'm just so conflicted. It's no secret that I just feel things very deeply. I always have, I always will. It's just a matter of actually dealing with those feelings in the moment which is why I'm constantly asking myself, how am I feeling in this moment? I'm just reminded of what my friends are going through right now and some of them are going through absolute times of terror. There's no other way to describe it than terror, especially one of my closest friends. I think what's going on, and I'm not sure how to articulate this, but I think that what's going on is that there's just so much pressure coming down from so many different angles right now that I'm focusing it on my nightly and morning routine. I'm just projecting how I'm feeling onto that because there are some things that I don't wanna deal with that some things that my friends are going through and some of them scare me to help. So I think I'm just projecting that, which is classic KG projecting. So it feels good knowing that I'm just projecting because the one thing that I can control right now in my life, the only thing that I can control is my morning and my evening routine. Yes, Lauren just sent me a new playlist of music to listen to and we have the same exact music taste, so I'm so excited. I'm gonna be having so much music to listen to right now. I underestimated how hard this walk was gonna be. This little hiking trail, it's pretty hard. There's trees and sticks everywhere. It feels great to get outside, get my heart racing. Remember that big steep hill that I showed you the other day that I said don't climb? I just found my house. My house is right down there. And this is the hill. Like, do I keep going with all these trees broken down? Or should I just go back home? 
I think I'm gonna go back home because I'm not trying to get hurt right now. So I only walked a mile, but a mile is better than no mile. That's it for today. I have a bunch of cleaning that I need to do and I'm probably gonna, of course, play some Animal Crossing. So I will see you tomorrow.